Today I'm reviewing Parrot Linux distribution. Um, I'm really excited to do this review. I've really enjoyed using this operating system for the last few weeks uh, to get a feel for everything. And I want to share with you guys the benefits. Uh, it's not just a copy of Kali Linux. Um, it has all the standard penetration testing, uh, sniffing applications, um, all of the different, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm scrolling through right now some of the popular uh, applications for all kinds of information gathering, uh, forensics, uh, for law enforcement professionals will find this distribution extremely helpful. Uh, but it also, and most importantly for this channel, has a lot of privacy features. So I'm going to go over those first. Um, as you can see, it has a great um, background that it comes with. This is right out of the box. Um, you can get it from their website. Uh, that would be parrotsec.org. This is their main page. Uh, you just go to the download section. Um, what is Parrot? It's a secure distribution. Uh, this is not your standard Linux distribution. Uh, it comes with default Fire Jail and App Armor by default. What that does is it basically sandboxes the applications you're running. So what that means is it will not allow uh, those applications to access areas outside of its own directory. So if, for example, an exploit was run on your system uh, through that application you happen to be using, uh, this would prevent it from getting outside of the application. Uh, that is extremely important um, when we're talking about unknown vulnerabilities. So what it does is it prevents applications from basically exploiting outside of it, the application itself. Uh, with a standard Linux distribution not set up this fashion, um, you could, it could lead to a complete takeover of your system. Uh, it also blocks scripts by default. Uh, it comes with Firefox. Uh, as you can see, all these different, just on this one page, all of these different scripts, a lot of them are blocked. But if, say, you need to see a website and it breaks the website, all you have to do is go to temporarily allow this page to run those scripts. So you can allow access as needed. Um, it also, of course, has Privacy Badger, uh, which blocks tracking scripts, which can be used to basically build a profile on your entire browsing history. Um, it comes with um, App Armor, which allows mandatory access control. Uh, it's a kernel enhancement. It confines programs to a limited set of resources. So it binds access control to the programs rather than users. So this also helps prevent you from being exploited on the internet. Um, but as I mentioned, privacy, and that's also a part of privacy um, because vulnerabilities lead to a lack of privacy. So it also allows you, it has a non-surf that comes with the system. And what that does is, and I'm going to start it up right now, what it does is it allows the rerouting of everything through Tor. So every application you run is then run through Tor. So I'm going to show a trace route once it finishes starting. You'll see a box pop up that says uh, that a non-surf is completely running. And I'm going to run trace route right after that just to show an example of how everything is running uh, through proxy. So it means your IP address is not doing the direct connecting. Uh, so now it looks like a non-surf has started. So I'm going to run trace route. And as you can see, it only shows one hop. Um, and instead of the normal from your connection through all of the other hops on the internet that takes you to a connection. 
So as you can see, it is running as it should be. And that and you can also run all of the different vulnerability analysis tools through that. So basically everything on your system at this point, once a non surf has started, is now anonymized. So that's another extremely helpful tool. So now I'm going to run through some of the applications that come standard. So these are the tools that come with Peridos. So you have Aircrack, all of the other standard uh, vulnerability analysis tools. You have EtherCap, of course. Um, you can start a uh, bridge sniffing. Uh, you know, I'm going to go and just show a quick example. Um, I can view all the connections that are happening on the network. Using my Wi-Fi card, we can see a variety of things happening. Um, you can further explore what exactly is in those packets, of course. So, that's EtherCap. It comes with the system. there's a variety so it's it's Kali Linux but it has a lot more and I highly suggest this operating system um, over Kali Linux I've used Kali Linux for a long time but this comes with additional privacy uh, applications that are installed as by default so you have a variety of options here You can do, um, there's some air get in, which is this allows you to test Wi Fi networks automated. So that's just another great tool. Um, I'm not going to go through it because I don't want to expose the MAC addresses on my network. But uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a great looking operating system. Um, you can run games on it, everything runs very well. I haven't had any crashes, haven't had any problems. Of course it comes with Tor as I mentioned. You can route everything through Tor, every application. Um, I've installed some additional things like uh, some games. I'm gonna show one real quick. It runs pretty well. As you can see graphics are pretty great. Um, my graphics card was automatically picked up. This is a salt cube. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. Uh, I'm going to jump out of here. I just wanted to show that it's not just about work. You can have a little fun too. So I'm going to pull up the website now. It's a sandbox system. So as I mentioned, Fire Jail and App Armor helps to protect you from remote exploits that may be run on the applications you're using. Um, as I mentioned, you can route everything. It has a great community. Uh, the community has a, a lot of support. So you can get involved. And so as a non-surf has started, I wanted to show that my IP address is not picked up. Actually, the Tor server uh, is picked up. So this is just normal Firefox. It's not even Tor browser. And since a non-surf has routed all my traffic through it, um, everything I do right now is done through Tor servers. Uh, it's just a great, I can't say enough about this operating system. Uh, I've really had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it really is great. So if you want to download it, uh, go to their website. Uh, they have a couple different builds here. As you can see, they have a lightweight home workstation uh, that comes with all the privacy protection you need right off the bat. You don't have to go through and set up anything. It's all ready to go. Uh, all my drivers were picked up, my sound card, my Wi-Fi. I'm running on a uh, standard cheap Lenovo laptop right now. Most Lenovo laptops are completely uh, supported and automatically uh, picked up every single driver for it. Uh, it really is a nice, clean operating system. I really can't say enough about it. Uh, I highly suggest you go out there and download it. Uh, you can run it as a live version first so you can see if your hardware is supported um, and that way you can see if it's right for you. 
Uh, so if you are into your privacy, uh, if you care about the overreach of surveillance, if you care about all of the uh, problems that happened in the 2016 election where they were using people's browsing, uh, a lot of those scripts are how they came to build profiles on people. As you can see, uh, it blocks a lot of different scripts that are used for tracking um, and everything that I would have set up is already on my system so I don't even have to go through any of that. Uh, it's very convenient. Uh, it's extremely nice for forensics and vulnerability penetration testing. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. So uh, as you can see they have a variety of different options for you. So I really just wanted to share this with you because it is such a nice operating system. Uh, it's very nice to look at, uh, but it also has everything I need. Honestly, uh, this is how I would design an operating system because privacy to me is the most important uh, and then it has everything else you need along with it. Uh, it has a its own update its own update application so you can go and go through the uh, you can just go through and run this and show you how it updates very easy one command uh, I added a couple repositories because I wanted access to more games and whatnot uh, but be careful adding repositories uh, you don't want to break your system so in essence Parrot OS amazing operating system uh, I can't say enough about it there is nothing missing here this is a Debian based distribution uh, it's it's just extremely well put together uh, it comes with Mate desktop and as I mentioned, I'm going to run through a couple more of the applications and just show you what we have. So, and then you can stop a non-surf too if you want to connect directly through your own IP address. You can also change the exit node on a non-surf. So say you are concerned about certain countries having their Tor servers compromised for tracking. Well, you can switch, you can switch the nation with which you want to connect. So say you only want to connect through um, the United States for example because you're concerned about foreign surveillance. Well then you would select the United States and it will change everything automatically for you. The tour servers you can then at any point stop a non-surf and then connect directly. So I just wanted to run through this operating system. It's not the most thorough review um, but I wanted to share it with everyone because I think it is the best distribution you can get for privacy, period. Uh, I have not seen anything that comes close. They've ext worked extremely hard on this operating system, and I really appreciate all the effort you can tell they put into building this operating system. So if you like privacy, if you are a law enforcement officer and use computers for forensics, check out Parrot Linux system. It is the best for privacy. I think it is the best for penetration testing. Uh, it has the most options I've seen on any system. It has, it blocks scripts. It has script blocker. It has privacy badger to block tracking. Uh, it blocks your origin. It blocks browser fingerprinting it basically does everything I need so I'm gonna be sticking with Parrot Linux distribution and I suggest you check it out go to their website parrotsec.org download it burn it to a disk run it live first make sure it detects all your hardware and then after you're satisfied if you're satisfied go ahead and install it so check out Parrot Linux at parrotsec.org and I will be back later with more on privacy, penetration testing, and surveillance capitalism.